All right, something uh, something went wrong with the previous recording, so I have to start over again. But uh, you know, it just says sometimes it just says something went wrong. You have to start over. So the technology is not perfect on this humble lap, this uh, this laptop, in my humble way, trying to produce my own YouTube videos, right? Um, some really cool thoughts. Um, just to repeat a couple of that I had mentioned before that before the tape went off there, but. Uh, uh, develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. So develop success. See failure as opportunity, that kind of thing. Um, where's the Bill Gates one? Thumbs up. Steve Jobs one that was really good. These are more of the motivational ideas that we're, we're continuing with talking about motivational ideas. Just reading a, basically an article from Huffington Post and talking about it. Uh, Bill Gates says, as we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. That's a very powerful thought as we head further and further into the Internet world. as people um, working together for solutions. Um, let's see. Uh, there's one by uh, Steve Jobs. Where is he? I just saw that one. You cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect into your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down. It has made all the difference in my life. Like the the Robert Frost poem. You know, I, I chose the path that's less popular and it's made all the difference. The road less traveled, that is. Um, the number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Sounds crazy, but uh, it's true. They listen to people who say you'll never make it or try to pin you into a certain category. Oh, yeah, well, that's just that's just him. Um, let's see. The reason most people never reach their goals is they don't define them or ever consider them as believable or achievable. Winners can tell you where they are going, what they plan to do along the way, and who will be sharing the adventure with them. Dennis Waitley. Who, you can call him sort of a stereotypical business type speaker, like a motivational guy, but he actually helped me when I was in my 20s. Um, I had this tape that got stuck in my car, so... I was actually forced to listen to Dennis Whateley over and over again. The winner, something about the winner's circle or winner's rise above or something like that. In my experience, there's only one motivation, and that is desire. No reasons or principle contain it or stand against it. The power, the power of emotion from Jane Smiley. She's an author, by the way. Success does not consist in never making mistakes, but in never making the same one a second time. What's that saying? If you keep beating your head against the wall and you, and you keep doing that, then that's not a good thing. Um, if, you, if, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and it's, it's failing, don't keep trying it. Success does not consist in never making mistakes, right? I don't want to get to the end of my life and find that I've lived just the length of it. I want to have lived the width of it as well. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. Michael Jordan. Jim Ryan said motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they're doing. That's, that's pretty cool. That's Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie. A lot of people like him. He was kind of conservative, though, wasn't he? A little bit conservative. It doesn't make him a bad person. Um, there is no chance, no destiny, no faith that can hinder or control the firm resolve of a determined soul. Determined soul. That's kind of cool. I like that, that phrase, to be a determined soul. Our greatest fear should not be failure but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. So they're going down these down these um, pathways that don't matter. That should be more scary than 
than actually. So we should have focus in what we want to do and what we want to become. Very strong focus. To be successful, you must accept all challenges that come your way. You can't just accept the ones you like. Success is knowing your purpose in life, growing to reach your maximum potential, and sowing seeds that benefit others. You've got to get up every morning with determination if you're going to go to bed with satisfaction. That's kind of cool. George Lorimer, not to be confused with George Latimer, former mayor of St. Paul. Uh, success is knowing your purpose in life, growing to reach your maximum potential, and sowing the seeds that benefit others. John Maxwell. Be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever has to be done, it's always your choice. So you can either be miserable, sit there, or you can develop a plan and motivate yourself. So there you have it. And we'll continue the final, our final series on this in, in, in just a few moments here.